ticket. I have one more book. I didn't pick any spells last for my last one. So, comprehend languages is one of my favorite. Do I get for that? Look, it says it right there. I would say the grapple. Oh, Vampire Garlic Mage. Very nice. So, I feel like we get some kind of credit for. No, Like, the vampires aren't going to like that much. That's just good planning. That just makes solid tactical sense, is all that is. That's just saying. He's just like, we need the You haven't even used your first inspiration, have you? No, I haven't. I still have it, though. I have it somewhere. So just so you know, I haven't really been adding my strength modifier to my melee attacks because I don't know it was a thing. Right. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> I was actually reading in more into the book. So. Yeah, good. It's good. Yeah. We should learn the you know, play by the rules. Playing by the rules is super important. Usually. <laughs> Some people are really into it. So I might seem more powerful so, than usual. Could you do name, cell phone, and uh, email? Are you ready? Yeah. Um, oh, right. That's interesting. I gotta think my mood. I can do roll D8. Roll a D8. Just roll it. Roll that shot. Oh my god, he rolled an 8. Roll that in the middle. It was an 8. It's an 8? Yeah, you're gonna have to do it. You like rocks. You're gonna tell me in secret. Oh god. Bring your, bring your, uh... Awesome. That's right. Can you grab me that? D6. You got a 6? Alright, so... So, what I need... Something that would allow us to... To gain one hit point if right. we eat a berry. <laughs> and I can stand us for a day. I need that. What do you mean? No, because we're not doing food. Okay. Yeah, we're not being super picky about that. Yeah. So one hit point is not. That, that's why like yeah. super role play. Yeah, yeah, here would be better. Um, well, I'm doing Hunter's Mark for sure. Because yes. If we come across, like, say, say we come across. Uh, I get that too. Yeah. Actually. Or who? It could be anyone. It could be like someone stole his sword. I feel like I had and then I don't, we know where he is. I can follow him. Nice. I can do that. I have that too. Where he is. You should do that for Stroud. Like when we meet these big bad vampires. Because they'll probably like. I don't know my other two ones. Wait, that comprehend language is nice. I get Bane too. How did Bane work? Because he had that too. Then so Bane. How, how do I get more hit points? Yeah, like so, just, so when you level up, you have a hit die. So you're a D6 or something, and then they roll. So, it, so you get five plus your con modifier. Like you try to hit them with Bane. Mm -hmm. They roll a save. If they lose the save, yeah. then every time somebody hits them, they have to roll a D4 and subtract all the one four. But it may be that you try to hit them with Bane and it doesn't stick. Yeah. Right, if they save when you were really trying to hit them, then it won't stick. Oh, on cloud. I have one! I have one. And I don't know what else I'm getting. I'm yelling out. There's a chance. 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 There's a ch
Yeah, no, I'm a. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna do the Colossus Slayer. I mean, I mean, just because with my proficient hand, I only do a one d six plus three. I mean, that's nine. But I mean, I mean, or like a one d eight. I mean, that's better. Then you. Then it would be both of them. Yeah. Okay, I'll do. And you make dexterity saving throws. I'm gonna do perfect. I got one weapon. Yes. Why would you? I get two hits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it, How's the I mean, Witcher doing? Are you loving yeah. it? Yes, Cumber Hamlin, which is in my book. And one is for, okay. oh, for yeah. you know, yeah. it's for yeah. the yeah. monsters. Okay, so last week we talked but about the importance of Magic two. Missile. Yeah. Yeah. And I can you know the, the other thing that your job is, besides Magic Missile? Magic Missile. Magic Missile is your, 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 your round two action. Yeah. Your round one action is, you are technically the controller, right? So your job is to drop something that controls the enemy's movement. Yes. So area of effect spells, <laughs> your wall of fog, those dirty. kinds of things. Well, I just got oh, web, so that's web, that's web is exactly what you're looking for. Sorry, I totally like raised you with my. <laughs> actually, I can't make my way with all that. No. <laughs> this smells horrible. Try it. Yeah, they smell like garlic. But I can only do it. One I did a companion. I love garlic. So I'm expecting it like to be like. Now the thing is, when I'm at home and not here, I actually can change my. What terrain are we in? Like, you are in. Uh, oh, you're gonna you're, you're gonna cast a find familiar spell in Arabia. Can I have some of those? Is that? Let me get this straight. You want to cast find familiar in Arabia? No, 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 no. I I get a companion. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a companion? You're gonna end up with a bat or something. Yeah, rangers. You're it, gonna it can be a medium, 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 medium sized. I, I think there's actually special rules in the module for what happens when people find familiar in Moravia. I'm gonna get a warhorse. Just a sec. If you find a familiar, you don't like it. You get a warhorse. She can kill it. She can get a kill. She can go have an attack. I'm gonna get a warhorse too. So we all have companions. I want him to get a pony. You can have enough money for a pony. Yeah. How, how, how are you going to take that in a dungeon when there's a five foot area? If ponies are little. This is not a war horse, it's a pony. Mine is a war horse. Ponies are little. <laughs> That's me. How, how, how are you, you going to bring your war horse everywhere? And what if it gets seasick? And what if we go on like a little paddle boat? Then you'll board it. You'll board it! <laughs> no, I mean that's what you do. You put it in a stable and you give it some money and they, and they feed it for you while you're gone. What is this Texas? It's taking an action to keep them trapped. Thunder wave? I haven't used my shield yet. It's kind of not good. Thunder wave? Are you Pikachu? Oh, your, your spell shield? It's so hard not to do that. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Which way are heading now? Oh, Ray of Frost is a can trap. Ready? Fire that hell. I'm ready. I'm ready. Because here's the going back up. No hurry. Uh, I mean, we could start. I'm just trying to figure out my turn. Let's go back to the end. Let's go to the end room now. Okay, let's just chill in that room. Okay, so you have walked out of the tavern. Yeah. It's now raining. It's it's evening. It's dark. Were we gonna go to the chapel to talk to the dude or the mayor's house? Wait, we just talked to somebody. Ismark. You met Ismark at the bar. Yeah. Ismark. Wait, he was coming with us, wasn't he? Ismark is with you. He's taking us to. Yeah. The, to the Bergenmeister's house, right. the manse, where his sister Arena needs help. Okay. Um, so that was, let's go. Okay. So let's go. In there. right, there's there's been talk of a rest, however. Right. Yeah, we should rest. We should rest. Do we need? We rested in the house. Stop. Yeah, we're talking about like a like a no, we did. Rest. That was a short rest, though. Oh, we did short rest. I have a short rest. Oh, well, I don't need a long rest. rest. Oh, need a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's also nighttime in Boravia. It's raining and it's scary. Let's sleep. Yeah. Okay. You guys. Can we get a room at the the um blood on the vine does not. Have rooms. It's literally just a bar. All right. No, what does what the barkeeper recommend? Uh, oh, I rolled a thirteen. There are lots of abandoned <laughs> buildings. Oh, that's the best thing to do around here. <laughs> that that um, looks okay like that. the general strategy is kick in the door and take a building. Okay. Is, is there? Is there There's a favorite? Kick in the door down. Um, from where you guys are, you're you're kind of on the main street. Is there, is there a least tallest building? Is there one that's the not going to eat us? The tallest building. So. I'm Crossroads in the center of town. If you go right, the buildings seem to get a little bit taller with the nicer section of town. I'm gonna and they're vacant. Yeah, about every there's 
Every four or five houses look completely yeah, vacant. Okay, let's and vacant let's for a long a, time. A vacant house. Yes, yes. No, they Absolutely. Yeah, we're yeah. All right. You you uh, see some houses with smoke coming out of the chimneys and, and lights. Yeah. Yeah. The house is bordered up, right? No one's making any noise. It's very quiet at night. Honestly, <laughs> you see a house. It looks pretty nice, two story. Should we try to sneak in or just break down a door? But I want to die. Wait. Was it supposed to be empty? No. Open the door. Why should you I Can we knock? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we just we had to just yeah, knock just to make sure that no, like, there will be no more jokes. Come. <laughs> okay. Knock, the door falls down. It looks like this house has been abandoned for more than 100 years. It looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. Great place to sleep. Roll a d20. You shouldn't talk so much about No, no, just a half orc who Nick kicked in the door. Um, oh, good guys, job. Okay. 19. A what? Just, 19. 19. <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a two-story house. <laughs> you come into it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yay, you didn't get attacked. <laughs> Where are you supposed to roll low on that? Yeah. <laughs> you come into a, into the house. It appears completely vacant. Uh, large, well-furnished entryway. Lots of dust. Footprints in the dust. Uh, upstairs from a ground stairwell going up. You don't hear anything. Looks like the kitchen and dining rooms are off to the left and the right. Where are the footprints? The footprints are coming from where you're going. They're going. Um, around and uh, kind right, of, um, down a hallway. <laughs> so, so, so come in, yeah, dining area here, yeah, yeah. large kind of uh, parlor, and then kind of kitchen is probably behind it. It appears that they're kind of going down a hallway behind the parlor. We follow the footprints. I mean, we, want to, we want to make sure the house is empty, right? Uh, I, I read also kill myself. So there's also an upstairs. <laughs> All right. I want to follow the footprints. <laughs> you, you head around, uh, stairwell going down into what appears to be a basement or maybe a large pantry. Uh, you don't notice anything in the parlor, it appears vacant, the footsteps are going down. Why? Do you guys want to keep going down or are we Who's really sneaky? High? How much health do you I am. Go for it. I am. Go you guys want to try sneaky, sneaky. Why don't you go ahead? So rolling something higher than a five? Yeah, what kind of monster are we going to hit? Four, four five, six, seven. Oh, poop. Or not. You guys Hold trip on. and fall Hold on. in the bases. Oh, poop. <laughs> Alright. Eight, nine. I have a nine. You have a nine, so you're not being very sneaky. Oh, I got a 14. You're being a little bit more sneaky, so you guys are it's pitch black down there. You guys have a little bit more sneaky? You guys yeah. both have dark vision, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You guys are very lucky about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the stench is hideous. Rotting food and perhaps flesh. It oh smells very God. bad. It is definitely a I pantry. So you descend into the pantry. So You're gonna come save me right away. No, go ahead. Right? No, go ahead. Yeah. Stinky, right. disgusting, so, yeah. smelly oh, pantry. Do a perception uh, check I mean, absolutely. Like the right. Yes. Plus six. Here? Or so here? eighteen. Right there is something rustling and moving behind what appears to be a large shelving unit. It looks like it may be an area to be able to get behind there. Were there fresh footprints or? The the footprints kind of you lose them down the steps. When you get to the base of the stairs, it's filth. There's bones and and uh, spilled wheat that's rotted. It's it's disgusting down here. You can't really see the footprints. Definitely something making noises behind a uh, 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 shelving unit. A uh, large pantry shelving unit. Wall, or is it a it's kind of sticking out from where she is. So she's come down the stairs here. There's like a, is a monster pantry, on, like, and then behind the that, there seems to be some noise coming from back there. You came in to go to sleep, but there's something in the pantry. Another one of those stupid DM. Can we? Awakened mind. You've been rolling for that. We don't need to roll for that. It's fine. Does anyone? It just says I can, like, just close off so that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No, no, you can absolutely, yeah. All right, I, I want to check and see if I can... <laughs> you do awakened mind, uh... I would say from your position, you should... Do, 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 yeah, there are 2d4. There are so I so I the party so depressing. <laughs> <style. laughs> okay. There are six minds behind the pantry. They're eating. They're starving. They're starving. Yeah, brains. They're eating brains. They're hungry. They want more brains. So we got a bunch of zombies. Are you guys down to fight a bunch of zombies? Yeah. Let's 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 You're yelling down the stairs. I can just turn undead. Guys, guys, come back up here real quick. Come wait, wait, up here. Oh, so I, I can turn undead. Can I tell you action. about my turning undead? Yeah. I, um, yeah. As an action, I present my holy symbol. Oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. Get that away from me. Oh, my God. <laughs> and speak of prayer. Ah, Centering the undead, apparently. Ah. He's undead now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 
So basically, they'll all run away uh-huh. if I turn them and they fail. Their I, know, I was like, I hear Evan Dorse. He's like, already left. I left. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked on him. Okay. Well, I didn't even do it. I really, I just no, got ready. I still to. want to go back to Evan Dorse. All right. Let, let, let him go. Um, I mean, we well, just put me on watch. You would have no if they come up and try to eat every person. Are they coming at us? They're eating. They seem to be eating. Right. So I brains. I guess. Do they know no what's kid. going on? Oh, no, no, no. You, you, you said, hey, there's zombies upstairs. She goes, oh, I can turn on that. She pulls out her holy symbol. And ran. It's pretty obvious. It's fine. Yeah, no, he's undead. No, no, no. Necromancy, maybe? I don't know, guys. I'm just saying. I mean, he's some kind of like some kind of undead thing is happening. Um, him. Okay, can I just shut the door? Can, 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 can we just go? I'm not aware. I'm not just. Do you want to do the zombies? zombies or I mean, we could go to another <laughs> building and maybe there wouldn't just be zombies in it if we don't roll a 19. <laughs> Wait, is there a door? Paladin, <laughs> zombies are evil. They need to die. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm gonna so slowly so walk up to one as quickly as I can and attack him with my. So you're just gonna walk down this other? The paladin comes down the stairs. What kind of call out of armor do you have? I call a. He has chain mail. I don't think he's going to be walking right. anywhere <laughs> quietly. After it's, I it's not, it's the, you're you're going to uh, sound like Jingle Bells. Like, like down let's down let's, let's just go straight down. initiative, like, guys. Initiative. Are you only for initiative, Kyle? No, you're outside. Taylor got a 15. I'm sorry, excuse me. It's 18. It's your... Okay, I'm gonna throw. Right at the end, that's more zombies. Right? I have three of them. Here we need zombies. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm not telling you. I have fourteen. Do you want to do you want to throw out minis and skittles? I have a zombie. We're making zombies, and you guys got minis. Okay, my initiative is very bad. That does look pretty scary. There's another one. He's a really long neck. This is a long zombie. Melissa, initiative. Eleven. Eleven. Margo. I think I said fourteen. I'm gonna turn to you. I'm gonna turn to Tori. Kyle, did you roll initiative? Uh, no, but I got five. He's not with us. Four. Four. Taylor. I got an 18. 18 is, is a good roll. Here's the fifth one. Brains. Joel, 15. Goes over the stairs. It just. How many are there? And Josh, there's six. Um, I got a five. That doesn't look like a zombie. It's a zombie. <laughs> zombie worm. They're they're in a very small area. So the zombies are in like a ten foot square. Okay, you get that. It actually loses one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so the house, the house is in relatively good shape for having a zombie infestation in it. Taylor, you're up first. We need one more zombie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need greater initiative on the on the. Um, Cleric. We need greater yeah, initiative until it's my turn. I don't have an initiative. You can, you can wait. I promise. Or you can so, just skip your turn. Um, it's fine. Wait, where, where are the zombies? Are those the zombies or are these the zombies? These, these are the zombies. zombies. <laughs> okay, I'm. Although we can give them each a color so that it's easier to keep track. Hold on. We, we should put a skittle on each of them so we know which is which. This is going to be that. It's going to make it pretty top heavy. That's going to fall over. <laughs> Wait, we don't need the skittles. We don't need those. Well, they need color so that we can identify them easily. No, we have they need names. <laughs> they need names. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they need names. If you name it, he's, then you're not gonna want to kill it. To his yeah. undead gods. Right. Ismark has come outside with you. When you fled outside, he yeah. followed you outside. Yeah. Very good man. Who? Ismark. What's wrong? What's wrong? He's concerned. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna s <laughs> go up Someone and is at least. smack the flathead. <laughs> right? I have no. His mark seems like a pretty uh, like flathead. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, roll damage. Four. Five. Flathead. I'm sorry. Fifteen. Fifteen is a hit. Offhand. Seventeen. Hits. Okay. He's a giant thing. Pro hands. <laughs> You're gonna wreck it. Wow. Five. You know um, eight cool. offhand <laughs> is five, and then I get to do an additional d8 damage because of my Colossus uh, yeah, okay. Slayer. So yes. And then, Another where's my d8? Five. Eight, five, and five? Eighteen? Um, Woo! Yes. Yeah. And then roll a d20? No, actually, yeah, what's the D20 do? Necrotic, necrotic damage, and I rolled a nat 20. 20. 20. That, that the zombie is decapitated. Right yeah. So you've chopped right. off the zombie's head. The head is on the ground. Okay. It still is attacking. <laughs> 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 there is vile <laughs> green goo that comes spurting out. Ordinarily, you would no, think this would slay oh the zombie in your experience with Undead. dead. <laughs> However, it's congealing. Oh, it looks like there's some kind of dark necrotic okay, magic so holding yeah, these zombies it's together. It's necrotic damage. Guys, please do not get hit with this. Thank you. Uh, and and I, I say that. Yep, don't get hit. <laughs> don't get hit. <laughs> Shiv in the half orc, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's um, divine I, smite. So there's even more damage to undead. So. Okay, so it's actually hits. <laughs> 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 Hits. Okay. Hits. Uh, hits. Oh, plus a six, so it doesn't Just enough to see the shambo. So I get. Yeah, okay. Is the snake wrapped around yes. that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I get two D six. I think my that's decorative. Arms. I get two D eight. That's just Are decorative. you getting a scarf? That's not a zombie oh my god. In addition to my weapon. Yeah. So first I'll do my weapon. Yeah. That's a decorative <laughs> item. Yeah. In addition to weapon damage. <laughs> So eight uh, weapon damage, okay. and then the okay. rest is going to be radiant. These are totally in the shot. <laughs> oh, it's totally <laughs> eight. Oh. Is this the same one, or are you striking another one? Uh, another one. one. Okay. Yeah. Why? But then we're just going to have more green hitting us, right? Yeah. I mean, because it's, yeah, I guess it's not really dead, but it's no, kind of dead. Good, good I'm going to do a lot. Okay. We'll see what happens. Three. Okay. Six. Uh, Actually, yeah, I should be plusing four to that. So is it dead? So twelve plus six is eighteen. So it already yeah. dead because it's a zombie, and she chopped his head off. Another extra because it's, and it's still coming after. Correct. Oh. But it's that green stuff so, coming after. Yeah. So I don't know if the green stuff. Is Twenty-two hurt points of damage. Right? Still alive. Roll a d20. Yeah. Cool. It's congealing, yeah. sort of. It's 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 necrotic magic. So don't get touched with it. No, but does it kind of follow you? You lop off an arm. No. But it's, the claw is still approaching and attacking. On it very okay. Right, the hands are still coming after us, even if you what? chop off a hand, well, yeah. and it still crawls yeah. after you. Margo, you're up. I you kind of like, when, when, when I have to run, yeah. they're, can eating, I just turn they're them eating bodies too. They're they're dead okay. bodies. Can we just turn them and get out? Like we don't okay. have to kill everything, right? Um, can I? Experience points, guys. Hold on, I need to. Let you go. Let's promote. I'll I'll turn them. Okay. Yeah, they have to what's up with our undead friend. They have they have to roll, but if they're if they're ruled by any magic, then it might be a little bit difficult. Okay, so is there any way I can hit all of them and not him? Like, how much how far apart are they? They're in a ten what are you foot hitting? room. Right, so they're they're oh, closer so together than like that. Five, eight, four squares. Yeah, they're in four. Long all long the zombies are in four squares. Okay. Oh, sorry. Then these two guys are standing on the square adjacent to those two squares. Can you? Do you have? <laughs> could he still move for his action? What's that? Could he? Leave, could they walk away for their action? No. Okay. No. Well, they could have, but they did not. Oh. Um, yeah. Is this this is all of our stuff? Yes. Because uh, I have I have hail of thorns. Okay. But I'm afraid that it's going to hit you guys. Like their goo is going to hit you. I think it's going to splash green. Nasty. I think it's going to kill you. There's green bile goo really all over the floor. The altar has not changed. Whatsoever. As long as it's not smoking, okay, it's not acid, we can touch it. Just don't let it go up. Is it my turn yet? Look at no. You, well, you like are. And now it's like I thought it was. What do we do? You got a five, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like last. We're, we're on 14. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're two away. Oh, okay. Uh, I suck. I said, it stay in that room over there. Are we trying to sleep after this? Because I'm not sleeping. Okay, I'll do it and see what happens. All right. Um, and then rest. 
What's the area of effect? Uh, five well, feet. Five feet. So I'm gonna hit uh, I'm okay with rest. this okay. one. And okay. You're, you're gonna fill a square with thorns, right? So there's two in any square, basically. I'm gonna aim for the back one because it, okay. it hits a five radius. From it's five foot radius or it's five foot square. Uh, during this rest, area of effect. Within five feet. Yeah, you wanna study the books? It's within five feet. Creatures within five feet of the point. Okay, yeah. So you can get all six of them. All right. All right. Good. Kill them all. Very nice. Now, what is this roll for? Hail of Thorns. Is this you making an attack roll, or do I make a saving throw? Um, you're gonna recover a little less health. Spell rings cost well. Dexterity save. I never knew I liked. What's the DC? It must make a dexterity saving throw. It's really processed. My DC, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you're spell casting DC. It's A plus your proficiency plus your modifier. What? My wisdom modifier. Is two. <laughs> my proficiency is two. Okay. So, so twelve. They never told the group about. Uh, so they're at minus two on their save. So fail, 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 fail. Succeeds and fails. One of them didn't get hit. <laughs> Right. Okay, a creature takes uh, 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half as much on a well, success. Okay. So just roll damage once. Okay, get a nice roll. That's 10? Yep. Okay. Five. So 20. Let me know if you need... Is there an ongoing effect? Is it? Are they in a thing? Um... No. So just... Thorns. Mm -hmm. Vicious. Do you want to move or are you happy where you are? Kind of at the top of the stairs. Me? Is that where you are? You're kind of behind back, them? Yeah. Okay, Melissa, you're up. Where's everybody else at? Birch. There's a stairwell that kind of comes down to where they're standing. So you're kind of on the stairwell casting over them, kind of. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of back behind. Um, Near her. So, so any undead that... It's very... Or you're in a very cramped pantry. But she's behind me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm like on the steps. I'm I only have to be 30 feet, I'm right? only far enough so I can see. I'm presenting my holy symbol. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm speaking a prayer. Maybe bless us and turn these evil creatures. Um, each undead that can see or hear me. I'm pretty sure you have to either quote Bob Marley, <laughs> John Lennon, or some other hippie guru for this prayer. To be <laughs> no, they're not nature people. Oh, that's true. Right? They're not nature people. Anything like by John Denver. Something. Yeah, Thoreau. John Denver. That would work. John Denver would do it. Um, so I, the, uh, they must make a wisdom saving throw. If they fail their saving throw, they are turned for one minute. Or until they What's take damage. What's your DC? Uh, uh, you spend the hour. Is it just one hour? What's my DC? Yeah. Uh, then you're attuned to it. You identified it. I say you're attuned. It was just like, hey, buddy. Was it A plus C plus? Yeah, getting used to the magic items. How do I know my DC? It's A plus two plus your, or A plus your proficiency plus your modifier. Oh, A plus two. Sorry. A plus two plus your A plus your proficiency plus your modifier. Oh, A plus five. Thirteen. They're minus two on the save. They got to get a fifteen. Fail. 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 Succeeds. Fails. So, we have, so all of them except one are trying to get away from us, and so we have this option of um, sort of walking up the stairs because at least for a minute they're not going to follow us. Is it the one with the Because they've been turned. The, yeah, the one that saved actually saved twice. He's on fire. And so we could just sort of get away from the majority of them and see if we could like close the door on the way out. And do we want to do that? I mean, I'm just saying that that's what I got. Is I got them to stop. Paying the, attention to us, the, so the paladin like, isn't going to want to leave smooth. because it's evil. So then, I if you want to want to leave, not really. Yeah. <laughs> well, they want to attack us. They well, want to attack, attack us. us. Except so we can take the advantage to do even There's more damage. One they will attack them. us, but once they take damage, then they'll be interested in us again, right? So we should focus our damage on the on the so then just single turning one. I mean, we spend an hour. Focus our damage on the single one. It's one minute turn. Oh, it's one minute. One minute. Oh, by ten rounds, if we don't kill them, we should be killed anyways. But the moment they take damage, damage, then they'll start oh, yeah. going after us. Damn, so we should yeah. clearly take them one at a time. Who's a... Who's next? Which one is well, taking the most damage? So only one of them is going to attack us right now. the one that hasn't gotten a lot of damage because they're the one that's not turned. Yeah. Because there's only one that's not turned. Wait, what level are these? It lasts just one thing. We don't know. This is your superpower. Identify the monster, please. 15 plus my what? Plus 5, so 20. This was covered at the Academy. 
these <laughs> are, <laughs> of course, without <laughs> doubt, <laughs> zombies. <laughs> zombies are traditionally like three to five hit die bad guys. One very strange thing about these zombies is the limbs continue to move after the fact. That is a sign of necromis, necromantic magic, not of zombies, right? Zombies are naturally occurring brain creatures. So there's something special about these zombies. They seem to have been imbued with some kind of magical powers or something. They're behaving a little bit differently, but they're generally, we're going to eat brains no matter what kind of mentality seems to be in place. I'll buy it off, be honest. What are those? Sesame snacks. All right. I'm going to attack all of them. What are those? All right. No, don't do that. I'm going to shatter them all. Do the opposite of that. But then why did I turn them? No, don't attack them. If you attack all of them, then they'll attack us. Just hit one. Four or five of them. There's six of them. There are all six of them attacking us. All of them will take three D. But they're still going to come after us, whether or not they get... What if I kill them? Then their hands will come after us. She hit them with a D20. She decapitated one and it's still coming after us. Right, they're gonna keep. Can you just do fire damage so I can get this done? <laughs> Wait until after they're like. Is it fire what is the environment? Is it wood? Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's uh, wood. Underground. And it's still so you're in a pantry. Right? Underground yeah. pantry. It's got like windows going out. You know, you're in the oh, okay. kind of area like so it's a wooden, high windows, the wooden, wooden shelving, rotten grain. Otherwise, they'll just on the floor. What's their weakness? Wood stairwell. Uh, they don't have any specific weakness, right? They're not like radiant. Yeah. Susceptible or other things, they do um, not take damage from poison. Huh? So don't hit them with yeah. So what we See, should do is, is so we should 300 them, so we should go ours. onto oh, the stairway, huh? light them on fire, <laughs> see if it works, <laughs> and then if it doesn't, back up, and then we're going to 300 them. Their numbers count for nothing. Who would tell a joke? These jokes aren't funny. Well, the other thing I could do is I could freeze them. You got this, your whole Take them out. You and my girlfriend are in the same boat. So. There's a sequel. <laughs>